It is three months since the government announced its furlough scheme, which is now paying the wages of some nine million employees. The Treasury also launched a scheme to support the self-employed, but up to three million workers have been excluded and they're still not eligible for government support measures. Our business editor, Simon Jack, has been speaking to some of them. Primarily children with autism, dyspraxia. Karen Garner's child treatment rooms have been empty since March. The kind of therapies used here require hands-on contact. And something like climbing actually helps to calm and organise the nervous system. As owner of a limited company, Karen takes her pay in dividends. So while her staff are having their wages paid, she's had no income for three months. As an independent healthcare sector, we feel a little bit forgotten. Um, I can't allow myself to think this would be the end because we have a duty of care to children who need us and I need us to be there for them. While the government is expected to spend over £100 billion on wage support and business grants, many don't qualify. Among the excluded are limited company owners like Karen who take their pay mostly in dividends, those who became self-employed too recently to have tax records and freelancers on short-term PAYE contracts. It's owners of businesses like this, unable to operate, unable to access support, that are among the estimated three million people who fall between the cracks in the various government programmes. That is nearly 10% of the entire workforce. And it's not just the economic impact which has been severe and sudden, it's also watching your business, your livelihood disappear in front of your eyes with seemingly no help at hand can be extremely emotionally and mentally distressing. I've struggled getting out of bed some days because what do you do with yourself when your whole, your whole world turns upside down? Mark Whitaker is a curtain fitter from Stockport. He started his own business while still employed. He then went solo but didn't earn enough last tax year to qualify for self-employed support. I need some money. People in my situation need some money from you. We need, we need financial help. There's no two ways about it. Don't make me beg for it. You didn't make anybody else beg for it. Why are you making me beg for it? It's not fair, for goodness sake. Freelancers also miss out. James Taylor is a TV producer who works on short-term contracts, like most people in the creative industries, which are worth over £100 billion to the economy. Unless people like myself are, are able to get any help or some backdated help from the government, um, the creative industries are going to be decimated. There's going to be people leaving the industry left, right and centre, I think. And it pains me to say, but I'm one of those people. It's now 100 days without income for Mark. The Treasury highlight VAT, mortgage deferrals and increased universal credit. The Chancellor said he couldn't save everyone. They would say he hasn't tried hard enough. Simon Jack, BBC News.